uh, Ernie Cambo, principal of CPF Investment Group, and we're based on site at um, 14350 Northwest 56 Court. Okay. Started off as a broker okay. with Cambo Realty, which was my brother's shop. Okay. Um, it became uh, Alliance Companies. It was a full service brokerage firm. And I migrated from being a broker, climbing through dumpsters to get tenant, you know, rep assignments. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we kind of migrated towards land subordinations and joint okay. ventures. Okay. And we had uh, expertise in industrial transactions. So mm-hmm. it was the next kind of step to migrate from those land joint ventures to become a, a principal okay. and develop a warehouse ground up. Okay. Yeah. One of the one of the nonprofits I'm involved with is called Miami East, East Side Sports. Okay. And we run uh, an inner city kind of travel basketball organization. And I've renovated an old warehouse in the inner city that has a basketball gym in there and it has a sports training gym. And we fund kids to train. Um, so we partner a trainer looking for a billable hour and a kid who needs some guidance. And we put them through a strength protocol and a, and a, and a training regimen to help them get off to college oh, and pursue a scholarship in football. My main project is... Uh, Ave Aviation and Commerce Center. Mm-hmm. It's uh, located on 178 acres on the west side of the Opalaka Executive Airport. Mm-hmm. And it's slated for two and a half million square feet of retail, mm-hmm. uh, industrial, aviation related warehouse, and then aeronautical facilities. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're about a million square feet complete. A right million now. square feet complete. One yeah. million square feet. Yeah, one million square feet has been completed. And uh, How many to go? another million square feet to go. Okay. Recently, we were approved for um, a Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott, where we're going to build a 112-room hotel on site on Red Road, mm-hmm. and that'll cater to the business customers in the corridor. Mm-hmm. It'll cater to the aviation staff pilots that are landing at Opalaka looking for an overnight room night, mm-hmm. and it'll also cater to the neighborhood uh, colleges, uh, Dade North, St. Thomas, and Florida Memorial. It was a unique opportunity to find um, um, infrastructure, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. a runway, a gateway to the Americas in terms of uh, uh, two long runways situated next to uh, the Grattany, the 924 mm-hmm. Expressway, which is an extension of I-75, mm-hmm. and 826 to the north, um, which is about a mile north, mm-hmm. where we could move... Um, a ton of goods and services throughout the region mm. as a strategic distribution point. Currently, the post office is there is with that. that? Yeah, okay. is there. It's a okay. half a million square foot okay. regional sorting facility. All the incoming mail to South Florida comes through that facility. Oh. Um, Turbo Power, Rolls Royce. Um, oh, Turbo Power? Okay. Turbo Power, Rolls Royce is currently there. They uh, occupy 100,000 feet, have mm-hmm. about 105 employees, okay. and they maintain all the Navy's C 130 uh, aircraft engines there. Uh, good years there. They distribute tires. Um, boar's Head Meats, if you're turkey and ham. Uh, oh, I've never <laughs> And it goes back. <laughs> boar's okay. Head is on, on okay. site. Um, uh, Herbal Life is there. Uh, so people that follow Herbal Life and, uh, and have nutritional products uh, in that region uh, mm-hmm. go, go there and pick up their supplies. So his decision time, which was a faster decision time before 2010, mm-hmm. has now become a very slower, a much slower, drawn out process and has honestly hampered his ability to grow um, and react to the conditions of the marketplace. No, I think his leadership has very minimal impact on South Florida as a region as a whole. Uh, Specific to warehouse and trade, most of our warehouse demand is tied to uh, consumer growth. So as our population grows, the need for warehouse will grow. Mm -hmm. So most of the goods that come in here are consumed here. Um, So uh, I, I think we'll be fine here. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing we have to worry about is more financial, fiscal, in terms of uh, interest rate, monetary policy. Mm-hmm. That'll be sensitive to our ability to finance and go forward. Yes. Well, you have um, the cruise lines push mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. Uh, quite a bit of demand of product. So there's a lot of third-party logistics carriers that carry mm-hmm. product to the cruise lines. Like one of our tenants is Park West Galleries, handles all the art auctions for the mm-hmm. cruise line. Yeah. So... Um, that services the tourism industry mm-hmm. in an ancillary way. Um, there's room nights that get kind of you know driven by that. Yeah. So those room nights now create demands on the hotels. We have 
uh, third-party logistics carriers and distributors that provide product to mm -hmm. the hotel industry. So yes, tourism definitely is a, is a help. Yeah, there's been some adjustment. The market shifted, but I mean, uh, 2010, the downturn affected capital yeah. um, twofold. One, real estate speculative risk mm. um, became a bad word, so yeah. you had to mitigate that risk for the banks in order to then issue you loans. So you had to revise your model that way, um, finding more pre-leasing up front to take the, the mm. risk, mitigate the risk to the bank and the project going forward. What I didn't realize is the small businessman's lines of credit and his receivable mm. financing has been constricted tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. So his decision time, which was a faster decision time before 2010, mm -hmm. has now become a very slower, a much slower, drawn-out yeah. process and has honestly hampered his ability to grow um, mm -hmm. and react to the conditions of the marketplace. Yeah.